Hello everyone, Tavi Ginario here. I'm a classical guitarist and here are seven tips that you could start implementing today and improve your classical guitar playing immediately. The sixth change that you could implement today to become a better classical guitarist is to practice smartly. What do you mean by that? You have to practice with intelligence. I remember being in college and I was practicing five, six, seven hours a day and I was working really hard and many times I felt like I was like a rocking chair, a lot of movement but no progress. Um, I was recycling my repertoire, playing everything from beginning to the end, hoping against hope that it will get better and never did. I had to change the way I was practicing. Um, you have to be patient in the way you practice. If you cannot play something technically accurate, that means that you're trying to play it too fast, too soon. Practice is really a numbers game. So any passage of music, if you bring it down in tempo and use a metronome and work your way up in speed as you feel comfortable with that specific section, you're going to get much better results. Um, and it's okay to isolate the difficult sections rather than going back to where it's safe in the music, face the music, so to speak, uh, work on that bar that constantly gives you problem and constantly causes your anxiety to rise during performances of a certain piece. So just go straight to that problem passage, isolate it, and then put a metronome on it. Be patient and work that section slowly and then as you become accustomed and as you become comfortable with that section, increase the speed two beats per minute, no more than that. For example, here is a section from Villa Lobos Arpeggios. That was not very clean, right? Um, that's because I was trying to play too fast too soon. I have to slow it down, so maybe the speed I'm able to play it comfortably is this. maybe even a little faster and then it gets better now I practiced this many times before but take it slowly and make progress little by little you may not be able to go from 80 beats per minute to 160 within one day but if you break it down over a period of two weeks you may be able to get there and your growth and your security level and comfort level will be enhanced all the more. Um, part of practicing with intelligence is also applying what's called vo verbal processing. This is one tool that is so underutilized in music pedagogy. What happens when I intend to do something better, when I intend to play a certain passage more accurately, uh, it turns out that I can't because simply thinking about it does not engage my brain in the same way as talking about it does. So let's say that I make a constant mistake. So it's getting to that 12th fret. What I would like to do is to verbally process that because as soon as I verbally process that mistake, identifying exactly what I did wrong and telling my brain what I would like it to do better and what I would like it to change the next time I play it engages my frontal cortex and it brings all this information in a, in a part of the brain that's a lot more vigilant. And so what I would do with this section is the mistake that I made is that I didn't go far enough to the 12th fret with fingers number 2, 3 and 4. In fact, I landed on the 11th fret instead of the 12th fret. So what I would like to do instead, and this is part of the verbal processing, telling my brain what to do, I would like to make sure that after I make the position change from the 8th position, I go all the way up to the 12th fret. So let's see if that works. So if you find yourself making a repeated mistake, start identifying specifically what the mistake is and tell your brain what you would like it to do differently the next time you play it and you'll become hypervigilant when it comes to that section and most of the times the problems are going to be resolved. And that's one of the best kept secrets in this uh, music trade if you want. So try it and see how it works for you. If you have enjoyed this video, 
drop us a comment and check out eliguitarist.com. On that site, I have tons of courses and repertoire tutorials and I invite you to dive with me in this wonderful world that the classical guitar is. In the meantime, cheers and press on everybody.